Not much happens in dark, murky ocean depths. It's mostly pretty quiet, with some smaller fish carefully passing by and probably hoping nothing big would grab them on their way. There's also a bigger fella looking for plankton coming through every now and then. Suddenly, a giant beast comes out of nowhere. First, it's just a dark dot in the distance, until it gets closer. Oh, it's a great white shark. You can recognize its firm, dark gray body, white belly, and slanted head. These creatures have special cells in their skin called melanocytes that can make their color change to lighter or darker. This way, a shark can blend in with its surroundings, which is a nice ace up its sleeve and the reason why we barely even see one coming by. These predators can grow up to be more than 20 feet and weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Our fierce fella is just passing by looking for some lost fish that might wander around, if it gets lucky, directly into its mouth. But instead, a giant jagged tentacle comes out of nowhere. The Great White barely escaped it, and quickly swam a little further to see what was happening. A giant squid comes out of the depths. Its eyes, as large as dinner plates, are looking straight at the shark, while its soft body is getting closer. A challenging prey, but hey, why not try? Most of the time, these creatures eat shrimp, fish, and other squid, but sometimes they like to really treat themselves, so they go after small whales. A shark will do too. I know you'd expect these creatures to be way smaller, or that's at least how I comfort myself when I swim a little further from the shore where my feet can't touch the bottom anymore. But they can weigh 600 pounds and be 40 feet long. The Great White Shark is the biggest predatory shark on our planet. Check out its long and sharp teeth. It definitely has the biggest smile down there in the ocean. Great Whites have around 300 teeth, but they don't use most of them for biting. Instead, they have a special system where new teeth grow all the time because they need to replace the ones that get worn out or lost. And they have a really powerful bite, over 20 times stronger than ours. Considering all that, you might think a Great White Shark has nothing to be afraid of in the ocean. but. Looking at its gigantic enemy, we can't be so sure of that anymore. Octopuses only have eight arms. Squids, too. But they also have two additional tentacles. They're similar to their arms, but suckers on the arms go along most of their length, while tentacles have suckers only at the ends. This squid has probably hundreds or even thousands of suckers. There are squids without these suction cups. But in that case, they have rotating hooks, or a combination where these two work together. Hooks catch prey, and suckers stick on it so it doesn't get away. Squids have teeth, too. Plus, they have this special part called a radula. It's like a tongue, but with teeth on it. The teeth are tightly packed together and are difficult to remove. When food is passed to the radula, the teeth chew it into small pieces. This is important because squids have sensitive body parts near their throat, so they need pieces of their food to be very small. Their bite may not be as strong as the great white sharks, but it's still quite powerful. For instance, way stronger than a lion's. They also have glands that produce venom and use their beaks and radula to inject the venom into their prey or a creature that's coming after them. Wow. These squids are really equipped better than expected, and they're also way longer than the Great White, which gives the squid more room to attack it with its long tentacles from a distance and seize it. Giant squids usually live at depths of 2,950 feet, while Great Whites prefer to stay at depths of about 650 feet, but we'll try to keep the competition fair. Let's say these two meet in a territory where water pressure won't hurt or bother any of these animals. The Great White is circling around the squid. It moves a bit faster than the squid. 
its swimming speed can reach 25 miles per hour when the animal is submerged, and it also has short bursts of speed when it can move at 35 miles per hour. Giant squids move at around 25 miles per hour. Just for comparison, an average human swims at 2 miles per hour. But with its length, the giant squid has more room to attack the great white shark with its long tentacles from a distance. They can stretch for 33 feet to snatch the prey. And look, it's really trying. But it ain't that easy. Not only is the great white big and fast, but it also has special sensors called the ampullae of Lorenzini. It's a good tool to detect prey and generally stay safe in the ocean. But the squid is definitely no joke. It has activated its special defense mechanism and released thick black ink. The great white is confused. The ink is like a smoke screen, which gives the squid enough time to get away. The shark can't see its opponent anymore. The squid is getting closer, and the poor great white has no idea from which direction. It's time for the final move. Even if the great white manages to catch the squid, the squid can detach parts of its body as a last resort to protect itself. It can lose up to 10 body parts, unlike sharks. These predators can't lose any essential body parts because they won't survive. And look, the squid finally latches onto the shark. Its suction cups and the sharp beak that can pierce its prey make it nearly impossible for the shark to escape. They both disappear into a cloud of ink, the great white shark in one of the rare fights it can lose, and the giant squid ready for new conquests across the ocean. Aren't giant squids perfect for scary stories? In legends, there are often battles between humans and sea monsters. In the past, Norwegian sailors shared stories about sea creatures they encountered during their ocean travels. Over time, these stories grew to include creatures that were like giant islands with arms. And let's not forget about the Kraken. It's a legendary sea monster from Scandinavian stories that looked like an island, which was how it would trick sailors. The spooky stories say the beast was using its long tentacles to grab ships and drag them to their doom. And do you remember Jules Verne's novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which describes an encounter between a ship and a giant squid? In real life, giant squids don't eat humans, and they're not particularly interested in going after ships. However, not all the stories about these creatures attacking ships are made up. There are some reports. For example, in the 1930s, something attacked a Norwegian tanker, the Brunswick, three times. And yes, it was indeed the work of a giant squid. Fortunately, the squid couldn't grip onto the ship's steel hull, so it ended up getting caught in the propellers. But even though everything was okay in the end, just looking at this gigantic monster trying to take your ship down to the bottom must have been terrifying. We can laugh at stories about the Kraken until we're out there on our own. In 2003, a giant squid came closer to a French yacht that was participating in a sailing race. It couldn't cause any harm, so it eventually gave up. So, for now, the idea of a giant squid taking down a ship or boat remains a fictional story. Although they're certainly capable of trying. Okay, giant squids are big. But there's another creature from their family of cephalopods that can be even larger. It's called the Colossal Squid. And one that was found weighed 992 pounds. Hundreds of pounds more than the giant squid. 606 pounds and they can stretch their tentacles for up to 45 feet. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.